Hello, everyone. My name is Elizabeth Kim. My name is Elizabeth Ayala Chavez. My name is Nicholas Moyer. And we'll be discussing the topic of rheumatoid arthritis and its molecular genetic background. Throughout this presentation, we'll talk about the purpose of the project, summary of arthritis, genetics, methods and materials, results and interpretation. The goal of this project is to analyze and to interpret ancestry testing data to make a prediction about of at least one trait or disease risk of an anonymous donor. In other words, the patient's data will be analyzed so its genotypes will be used to predict his or her ancestry, as well as if the patient is susceptible to certain diseases. Within this project, there will be an anonymous test data set where we will learn to analyze the raw genotype. This will then be used to make predictions about traits such as her or his gender and race. To do this, an SMP will be used. An SMP is a single nucleotide polymorphism, frequently called SNPs, and are the most common type of genetic variation amongst people. They're important to study for molecular genetics because researchers have found that SMPs may help predict an individual's response to certain disease, susceptibility to environmental factors like toxins, and the risk of developing certain disease like rheumatoid arthritis. And again, to clarify the goal, the goal of this project is to analyze and to interpret ancestry testing data. Rheumatoid arthritis is a chronic inflammatory disease that affects the smaller joints at first, then progresses to the larger joint, eventually causing damage to the bone and cartilage. The main symptoms of RA are pain and stiffness of the joint and the development of rheumatoid nodules. The causes of RA range from genetic factors such as the human leukocyte antigen to environmental factors such as smoking and pathogens. RA is not hereditary, however, a number of genetic markers have been found by researchers that may increase the risk of developing RA. Now on to the genetics of rheumatoid arthritis. Before we get too deep into the weeds, let's, rever let's review some basic genetic concepts. DNA is made of four nucleotides denoted by the letters A, T, G, and C. Different sequences of these nucleotides on our chromosomes encode for various genes, which in turn create specific proteins that perform all sorts of functions throughout the body. Mutations to these sequences can have little to no effect at all or cause a myriad of diseases. On the right-hand side of the screen, we can see the central dogma of genetics, which is an overview of the flow of genetic information. DNA is used to make messenger RNA through transcription, and messenger RNA is used to make proteins through translation. Yeah. Now we get to the central premise of this presentation. SNPs, or single nucleotide polymorphisms, are instances of nucleotides at certain positions in the genome being different than it would normally be in a healthy individual. These can lead to proteins malfunctioning and for diseases to occur. There are normally many SNPs that occur at a rate of about one to in every 100 to 300 nucleotides, but there are mechanisms in place during DNA replication to fix the errors when they do happen. Rheumatoid arthritis is a single nucleotide polymorphism disease on the HLA-DRB1 gene, uh, but it should quickly be noted that this disease is not heritable. These mutations can cause some amino acids to change shape, specifically the area near the antigen recognizing binding groove. This region is critical because it triggers an immune response when a bacteria or virus binds to it. It is suspected that these changes can allow normal peptides produced by the body to bind to the gene, thus triggering the immune response, but the research is still not clear on that. Additionally, scientists have recently determined that RA is caused by genetic changes that influence this protein. Now we move on to the materials and methods. First, I tried to find journal articles talking about SMPs to see if I could find any examples listed. Eventually, I found one that listed rheumatoid arthritis and chose that as our disease. Next, I searched for rheumatoid arthritis on the website omim.org, which is a compendium of all known Mendelian disorders. I found the page for rheumatoid arthritis, read through until I got to the association's pending section of the article and found the RS number RS3761847. I then went to smpedia.com, a website that lists all known SNPs and all available information on them. Once I found our RS number, I noted its correspondence with the three genotypes listed. Finally, I searched for the RS number in both the data sets provided to us and found it in the second data set. 
In these next few slides, I'll talk about the results and how to interpret these results based on the graphs provided by SMPDF. To start off, genotype is referring to the genetic code of the individual, while phenotype is the physical observable traits determined by the genotype. Each human has two copies of each gene, so the genotype is a description of which DNA letter is present at a particular spot within that gene. When looking at rheumatoid arthritis on SMPedia, the first thing you will see will be the chart on its genotype and phenotype. As you can see, the individuals with alleles AA will be normal, but those with G allele will be at a higher risk. In sample data set number two, our patient had an RS number of RS3761847, and the patient's genotype had alleles AA as well. At the bottom of this slide, there's a bar graph of different percent of races that are both unaffected and affected by rheumatoid arthritis. As you can see, the brown represents a normal phenotype, while the green with AG, dark blue with GG. With each category, you're able to see which races are the most frequent with those sets of alleles. AA means that it's a normal individual and is not affected by rheumatoid arthritis. This is the most common. AG, which has the risk allele G, this also means that GG genotype is the most at risk with two G alleles. And while this also means that it will lead to an increased risk in death as well as chronic inflammation. In other words, the higher the percent of the patient having a G allele, the more likely that the individual will develop arthritis. Based on what we know so far, the patient has alleles AA, which is normal. So he or she may have a Gujarati Indian ancestry. And the patient may be female because women have a three times more chance of developing this disease than men. In conclusion, we have learned so much about rheumatoid arthritis, how an individual is affected by it, what an SMP actually is, and how it is found on websites like SMPedia and OMEN. With these skills learned, we hope that other students will be able to use their analytical skills, apply their knowledge and when pursuing medicine or when they're entering clinical practices too.